Hey guys, it's us, the fifth wheels. Yeah. It's me, the twins, beta major. Roger's still inside getting some stuff. We gotta go pick his car up. And speaking of the devil. I'm like, where my key is it? I forget he got the keys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I told him we was gonna go pick up your car. Look at him, he looks so cheesy. You know? They say I'm so corny. So let's go pick up daddy's car. <laughs> Say hi, Kaysen. Say hi, Papa. He is not having it, y'all. Look at him. He say hi to the peoples. Uh uh, Tissy, get away from him. But then his swing, and Tissy keeps sniffing him. So, Papa, look at him peeking. <laughs> And so right now we're running an errand for my mom. Right, babe? We gotta go to Sam's. Kids are at school. It's a pretty day. It's just cold outside. And what else, babe? Um, babe got off mom, early mom, at work because he has to go with me to go to, Kason has a doctor's appointment today. So we're gonna go do that. But first my mom was like, can y'all run to Sam's for me? So that's what we're doing. So I guess you'll see us at Sam's. Babe does not know how to act. Look, who's ready to race? <laughs> even though when he does, like even just driving this car by itself, you can be at the red light and another car like this pulls up beside, yeah, or any type of fast car, they're ready. Like they're red, their engine and everything. So I didn't know that until, yeah. until it actually happened, you know? And it'd be older people too. I'm like, take your old ass on. Nobody wants to race you. <laughs> right, babe. Shout out to everybody out there. Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Are you having a good day? Not really. Shout out to everybody that's off tomorrow. Cause my ass ain't off. I gotta go to work. <laughs> Hi, Casey. Ah, you got to let me know Hi. you're recording, babe. You just can't do that. Hi, Casey. Hi. He looks sleepy. So I feel like that. Oh my gosh! It looks like it's too heavy for him. Yeah, mommy, you can see. I can see it, mommy. Can you see it? Get that off of his head. I can feed you, mommy. Can you feed your head? Can you feed your head? Tell you can't feed your head. You can. I love you. I you love hear all that milk you. rocking in there? I love you so much. Why you smell like sneezes? Who sneezed on you? He was sneezing and so was his brother on each other. You smell just like a sneeze. You see him? Ooh. You're coming out? Is it coming out? I, just, I don't want you to spit up on your shirt because you're so cute. Is it okay? Is it okay? Okay. I love you. Really? Okay, guys. So last place we seen, we was in the doctor's um, office, doctor, 
waiting on the doctor pretty much. What do you call that? A holding space, patient's room. Okay, so we went to um, May. Oh, Lord. I'm getting my kids' names confused. Okay, so Kaysen had a doctor's appointment today. And the reason why Kaysen had um, a doctor's appointment at the surgery. I forgot what that was called. Well, anyways, so when Kaysen and Kaden were born, Kaysen was smaller than Kaden. Um, Kaysen was, they were both premature because they were both were born at 36 weeks. But by having twins, I don't know if everyone knows, um, majority of the time, I know twins are never the same size. One is always bigger than the other, one's smaller than the other. So in my case, Kaysen, baby B was smaller. And so um, when they were both born, Kaden was bigger than Kaysen. Um, I believe Kaden was five pounds, Kaysen was five pounds. But um, after having them and stayed in the hospital for, you know, those two days, they say, and we went home and then they have us come right back that very next day to the hospital to do some tests on the babies. And when they weighed Kaysen, he had lost some ounces, so they dropped him down to four pounds. So they scheduled another appointment two days prior. So the thing is that since Kaysen was small, he was under a certain weight for um, the for him to get circumcised. Me and Roger, as parents, both came to um, the suggestion, or you know, like we came to an agreement that we both wanted our kids circumcised. So, Kaysen, when he was born, he was too small to be circumcised. So, that is what this appointment was for. He was too small to be circumcised. So, they wait till they get to a certain age and a certain weight. Um, and then they um, start a um, appointment and make an appointment pretty much like a, um, what's it called? I've been saying it all day now, I forget. A consultation. Today was pretty much a consultation where the doctor, you know, goes and checks him and sees his weight herself and check his vitals and all that stuff and pretty much explain to us what happens, what doesn't happen, what to do, what not to do, and um, schedule a surgery. So we got to do that. We got to schedule a surgery. So Kaysen will be having surgery coming up soon. And so um, this, um, he's gonna have to, um, they're gonna have to put him on anesthesia because he's, they, she says like, when babies are first born, they just lay there and they, they're they still. But Kaysen's, um, he's five months. So if y'all know a five month old baby is not just gonna lay there, he's gonna move, he's gonna move his head, he's gonna do all that. So they have to put him under anesthesia. So, oh my gosh. I know if you're a mother, if you have something and so, or like a kid or you watch kids or whatever, a dad, um, when you hear your kid has to go under anesthesia, you're just like, <sighs> so, you know, you get to ask questions about that. So just keep my baby in your prayers and he's going to be having, like I said, the circumcision surgery done pretty soon. So that was what that was for. So I just thought to take all my, all our subscribers along with us. I'm trying to get in recording more. And so I thought, you know what? Let me take them off of this ride. And y'all don't judge me, I'm in my bathroom. This is the only quiet space I have. Everyone's home, dad's home, Ben's home, Major's home, twins are in there, the dog is in there. And I was like, I need to tell our subscribers what's going on. I'm not gonna be able to tell y'all what's going on in there. So yep, that is where, that's the last clip you've seen. So yes, Kaysen is gonna have surgery, um, Kaden, he was big enough, he was, you know, so he had it already. So now it's just Kaysen's turn, he's just a little bit older. So they say you have twins, they may look alike. They was born on the same day, but they're two different people. That's, I feel like something you have to tell yourself every day as a twin mom or twin parent, twin dad, or just being a twin in general. You're two different people, you may look alike, you may have similar stuff, but you're two different people. 
So that's what I have to remind myself all the time. They're not the same. They don't even, sometimes I don't even laugh at the same things. So anyways, let's go on about the day. Bye. Hey guys, hey, this, this is a fifth and now, like, now, like, now we, are, we are cooking right now. We're gonna cook some chicken wax. Now we're gonna make some chicken quesadillas. Quesadillas, babies, in the house. Is it babies? We're gonna be all to the bed. Hey, come here, beta major. Come here. No, just y'all. Come here real quick. And let this Kaden and Casey. All right, guys, I got a question. Come here. Come here, May. I got a question. You ready? Get close together and stop moving. I swear, kids from five to eight cannot stop moving. <laughs> okay, so how do y'all feel? Ben, how do you feel about having more little brothers? Good. And Major, how do you feel about being a big brother? Yeah. Is it hard work? Yes. So you see what Ben Ben went through when you when you was his little brother? Or you still is his little brother? When you were a baby, you see what Ben had to go through when you were a baby? <laughs> oh goodness.